Hey what's up guys Romadi here back with another exciting Photoshop tutorial and in today's tutorial we are going to turn a simple image of a person and turn it into a magazine cover page and believe me it's really easy it's not as crazy as it's looking like now so let's get started and first of all I would like to make few things clear I'm not actually going to create the whole cover right now because that would be really time consuming and also boring and nobody likes boring videos so instead of that I'm going to show you the process how I did it and I will walk you through the different type of fonts that I have used and why I have used those fonts on my magazine cover page and I think this way it will be really easy to understand and it will be fast so first of all you will have to import the image into Photoshop and for that go to file and first of all create a new document and document I'm going to use international paper but actually you don't have to worry about the size of document because it will be provided by your client so ask them what size they're gonna print so and for practice purpose I always use international paper and if it's just for practice 150 is good but if you're gonna print it must use 300 minimum now hit ok and import your image inside this document so I have my image already imported and after you have imported the image into Photoshop first thing we are going to do is create the title and I have already created it for the title I have used the font Swiss 721 HVBT it's bold font and it's really good for using something impactful like if you are creating a sports magazine or a health magazine something like this bold fonts work really well and I wanted it to be a little different so I just used it in an italic way so they are in little cross and I wanted M to be a little big so I used red color for that and after that uh, when I was happy with my cover uh, uh, the main title uh, what I did was created a layer mask so first of all let me delete this one so I created a layer mask you can find it here and I selected my brush tool and made sure my color, foreground color was black press D for default and X to switch colors and when you have selected a black color all you have to do is paint on the text and take your time and once you are you have done your erasing I mean hiding be really careful while doing this you do not want any part of text on his face so uh, after you have done this it will look like it's behind him and it looks professional I mean most of the magazines use this kind of thing after that uh, I added some additional text to make it look more realistic so here's special edition fitness guide for real man I don't know how I came up with these words it's just all my imaginations issue number 8 and May 2014 now uh, let me walk you through the text uh, for the special editions I have used Swiss 721 LTBT uh, it's a really thin font and I wanted it to be a little different than the, my title and uh, for the fitness guide for real man and issue number 8 I have used Trojan Pro the most popular font of Photoshop and the thing is each and every font that I have used to create this magazine is default so you do not have to down you will not have to download or purchase any other font and that's really good and for the May 2014 best font my favorite Arial simple and great and uh, I have already done it that's why I'm going really fast and it is re happening really fast but when you will be doing this it will take a lot of time to decide what kind of font is going good with other kind of font so don't lose patience take your time and 
keep changing the fonts do a little change in colors try using different angles I mean bold italics which one is good for you and after you are happy with your main title we can move on to the text I used um, to describe the contain uh, and let me talk about the colors I do not want it to be very funky or anything so as you can see here I have used only three colors uh, to create this whole title white red and yellow nothing else and for the selection of font uh, as we all know we used that Swiss font in this title so for the other text as you can see here achieve dream body I have also used that Swiss BLK bold font I mean these names are really weird but as, as you can see here I have used the uh, font and you can read the name properly uh, I used the same font for the other text here and I wanted it it was looking really I mean it's really good to change text time by time so for the special tips too I thought it will be nice to change fonts there so for that I used Arial font the same font that I used to describe my May 2014 and the same font family not the same but same font family Swiss font I used uh, for the title and for the other text that I have written here all so it gives it a kind of a good feeling and look it doesn't look like it's really funky or anything it looks decent and professional so after I was done with my left side of text I added the right side of text and it's it just almost like the same fonts and all stuff nothing really big thing here and as you can see here uh, I used yellow color here yellow here but when it came here I thought it would be really good to use the same red color that I use in M here so it will give it a bit of contrast and it will look nice and not repetitive and I used same color for this blocks I used for how fit are you by the way this all are the same fonts only for the exclusive story of I have used different fonts and I will show you right now so for the exclusive story of I have used square 71 font uh, it's not anywhere else in the magazine but it was matching good as I told you you have to play with the almost all kind of fonts to see which one is going good and I found this really good and it was matching perfect so I used this font here and now some additional text I added here to make it look even a bit professional I mean it takes time to understand what you have to type so it is really good to decide first of all what kind of magazine you are going to make and to create this type of shapes that I have created which are vector all you have to do is go to your text to uh, sorry my mistake go to your shape layer panel here and select a rectangle tool and draw a rectangle first according to your text and then uh, here you can see a little option very few people know about it you go there and select combine shapes so if you sh uh, draw, uh, draw another layer here it will just add the content in here it will not create another layer so this way you can create anything for your text like if I want a black here background I will just can create this way and it's vector so you do not have to worry about the quality after I managed all my text and stuff it was ready but I had a problem my all the text they were mixing with the background of the image so what I did was added a layer style and I used drop shadow but um, the thing is when I was using my drop shadow what I did was let me show you uh, when I added a drop shadow I increased the size of text a bit so as you can see there see there it's not creating a particular shadow but if I turn it on and off you can see that the text is more easy to read right now and it helps really well sometimes when you 
have problem and your text starts to blend with your background so use some drop shadow and sometimes outer glow works as well so do different type of experiments until you are happy so i think this is it and i know i have missed a lot of topics right now but i cannot cover everything in a single video so if you have any questions feel free to ask in comments i always reply and i will always reply so you can ask any questions you have or if you have any doubts or you want me to do a tutorial for you you can ask me in the comments as well uh, i will be really happy to do that for you and i hope you learned something from this tutorial something about text and graphic designing i know it was not the best tutorial but i did my best to try to teach you something about creating a magazine cover so you can create take your own picture and convert it into a magazine cover page uh, so feel free to subscribe and if you really liked it you can also drop a like and i think i'm done now so take care have some fun with photoshop goodbye take care